Hi everybody! I have a 30 minute animal communication session and I'm going to be connecting with a cockatoo named Lala. So here's the goals. I would like to get some insight in my cockatoo Lala's behavior. He's a special bird, but he seems to be very fearful of anything new. Perhaps you can shed some light for me. Okay. I cannot wait to, to go into the energy field of Lala. This is going to be so cool. I've never, I've never connected with a cockatoo before. Okay, I'm just sort of absorbing all this. Fearful of anything new. Okay. All right, I'm going to relax now. Get connected. Okay, Lala, how are you doing? So right now I'm, so I see the shadow of a cockatoo and it's sort of like um, I'm, I'm going into that shadow. So I'm inside the cockatoo now and I'm looking through the eyes. But it's not as if I'm in the actual skin of the cockatoo. It's like I'm looking through a mask. You know how when you go on vacation and you can go in those like cardboard, like wooden cutouts and then you could be like a really attractive man or a woman or a mermaid or something. And then you get your picture taken with like your head and then the body. It kind of feels like this. Like I'm kind of putting my eyes through the holes, um, but then it's the body of a cockatoo. So this is important. This is an important message. Because I want to experience, I mean, does Lala feel this way? Does Lala feel as though he is not fully in his own body, so to speak? He's kind of looking through the eyes. I will say there's a major energy shift and I can feel it in my heart and actually in the side of my head right here, in the left side. And I'm deeply thinking, but I'm also perceiving and looking. And I'm feeling some sort of ringing around my ears. And, you know, animals and humans, we can really parallel um, so when it's a human being and I feel ringing around the ears, there's there's something about sound and communication. And so, la la, I'm experiencing ringing around the ears, so there's something about sound and communication. But it's not necessarily the most overwhelming I've ever experienced, but it is noticeable. It is there. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and touch Lala's heart. That's the next inspiration. And I will say it's quite strange because <sighs> there's a reason why I'm feeling only um, slightly in the body. So I'm, I'm experiencing what Lala is experiencing. And I don't know that Lala has any awareness of this, but I don't feel like I'm fully merged with the body. So I'm gonna keep examining this, okay? So imagine that you you kind of feel like you each and every day, right? Like you, we feel like we're in our body, right? Um, but what if you, some for some random reason, just felt like you were just kind of looking through your own, just looking at your own eyes, but not necessarily felt like you were in your body? Um, that's kind of what this feels like. But I'm, and the next inspiration is to touch Lala's heart, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And uh, something just occurred to me you know when you were saying that Lala is fearful of anything new um, fear actually inspires souls to kind of um, disconnect from the body so they're not fully immersed because life is dangerous so parts of us are trying to escape and we we don't even realize that we're doing this but I find that people that go through anxiety um, a lot of the soul like might be actually projected out of the body so to bring the soul back in and remind the soul that it is safe so um, something just occurred to me that um, I I don't know what happened here with Lala, but I need to bring the spirit essence in and really help it to rekindle with its body and um, know that it, this is a safe world. Know that this is a safe experience. I'm not sure what sparked this, okay? 
again, I am going to touch Lala's heart. <laughs> I've been touching it, but I just kind of keep going in other directions. So let me do this for a little bit. Touching Lala's heart here. And I be, turn into a lovebird, and as I touch Lala's heart, I actually, like a kitty cat, kind of like rubs the face. Um, I'm kind of rubbing my um, like lovebird head, like cockatoo head, <laughs> next to Lala's cockatoo head, and it's like feels like lovebirds. And I keep sharing love with Lala's heart, and I tell Lala everything's gonna be okay. And I come around and I give Lala a really big hug just like a human would do to another human, but I'm a bird doing it to a bird. It's kind of fun, but very sweet feeling. Lala still is, Lala's receiving this, but is still kind of disconnected from the communication. Boy, what in the world happened here? Hmm. I'm going to work on really allowing the spirit of Lala to really feel in the body, okay? So how I do that is I I actually become more one with Lala um, so I can feel more of Lala and then I send information to Lala's soul and we really start to feel a part of being the body. And we start to feel that we have feathers and feel that we have a beak and feel that we have a face and feel that we are a part of this body. Still a little, there's still sort of like separation going on. I'm going to just let this be as it is and then I'm going to let spirit show me the next thing. What's the next thing I can do for Lala? Okay, this is very weird, but um, so I see the cockatoo and it's on um, like a perch inside of a house. Um, and I see what is like, um, I'm playing, uh, what is it, Scrabble? Because I, I have, um, and they're black. Like the letters are, it's like black squares with let, white letters on them. And so there's a Scrabble message happening. And then here's one word. And then here's one word that goes um, vertically and one that goes horizontally. And they cross each other. I have no idea what the two words are. And this image of Scrabble is kind of intermixing with this image of the cockatoo on this perch. And again, there's something about communication. Could the word Scrabble mean um, Scrabbled? Something feels Scrabbled with um, processing communication. Hmm. This is just simply an idea. I'm going to keep examining I'm going to give Lala a cracker, okay? <laughs> I'm just going to, like, give Lala, like, I don't know, maybe some fruit or something Lala likes to eat. <laughs> I'm going to say, hi, Lala, you want something yummy? <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> And I send lots of um, happy um, laughter feelings, like the feelings of happiness and um, like, uh, I don't know, like um, my heart is getting bigger, I'm full of joy and uh, I'm just allowing that energy to expand um, in the process of showing Lala that um, I have something delicious that I know that you will enjoy eating and I feel so happy I feel so happy to be here with you, and I love you. Still working on this. The next thing, oh, there's something um, they're showing me here about the mind, and it's the back of the head particularly. And it just looks like it has a black shadow on it. So I'm just going to touch the mind, just in the back of the head. 
Touch the heart again from the back side. And I start to think of um, memories of a, a much younger cockatoo, like a like a baby cockatoo, like like a, an adorable little cockatoo, <laughs> and they just like warm um, inner child like feelings and memories of being curious about the world and the you know, first um, experiences with life. But they're all very positive, and I'm sending them. Um, these echoes into Lala, the back of the mind of Lala, and then the back of the heart. And I ask Lala subconscious, I say, um, how can I help you to feel more comfortable with new experiences? Hmm, I'm gonna go deeper. Um, I'm going into what looks like a circulating, I mean, it's black, it's a black hallway, it's cooler than this though. It's a cylindrical black um, dark hallway and at the end there seems to be just a flat piece. It's really pretty glowing turquoise colors and um, dark and light purple and white, just soft um, kind of um, soft whites. And it's uh, sort of like um, everything is circulating around. Um, and then I get to this flash piece like um, a wall at the end. And I'm walking towards this. And I'm actually starting to feel stuck. Because when I walk into the center of this tunnel, I see this um, right and left sides now are the doors are shut on both sides. Like I can't get out of this. And I start to notice that this uh, cylindrical tunnel that is closed on both ends is actually falling a long, 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 long way. And I feel fall like I am falling and my stomach is dropping. And I, I'm really, um, there's a lot of emotional response, but it's particularly sadness. It's not fear other than, I mean, it really feels like sadness very loud and there is fear because I don't know when this is going to hit something and what will that mean for me what will that be like how, how will I experience that where will I go from here I mean it feels like a burst of these types of um, reactions but this tunnel never hits anything never falls to hit anything. I mean, I, I actually feel it slowing down to a stop. And nothing, actually, absolutely nothing turbulent happens. Only this sudden inspiration that, oh my gosh, I'm trapped. Oh my gosh, this is falling. Oh my gosh, I'm going to die. But no, you didn't fall and you didn't die and everything is okay. All right, I'm gonna ask the subconscious here of Lala. I'm gonna say, what? Um, okay, what's the next thing I can you can show me here? <sighs> okay, this is a Scrabble as well, um, and it's a very weird image looking back at me. Um, it's a mixture of what looks like a rooster and human face and the eyeballs are just sort of um, out of the head and they're just going round and round in circles and they look like peppermints. And it's just a very weird uh, concoction of a face and it's not the size of a human face, it's smaller than that. And it's just like going round in circles and it's kind of scrabbled together. And it, it's uh, confusing. And it kind of feels noisy as well. So I'm slowing down the energetic reaction to this. And I'm showing Lala that no matter what it looks like, no matter how you're translating what it looks like, 
you, you can trust in, in your life. Because I can imagine if Lala saw something new and it happened to look like this freaky face, um, it, and, and that's how her um, his mind is processing it, that would make me feel uncomfortable too. Or something new, feeling like um, I'm contained and now I'm falling and I, I don't know whether I'm going to die or not. I mean, so these are kind of responses that are going on here. And so I'm just calming things down. This is deep down inside. I don't know what triggered this, um, but that's just uh, the best way that we could uh, comprehend it as a human being, okay? As human beings. So I'm just relaxing this on down. <sighs> okay. Let me get into the next thing here. There's still, I will say there is improvement here when it comes to uh, the connection between the soul and the body, but we're not all the way there yet. There's just time happening here and we're just allowing this energy to just swirl around okay so we're just allowing very relaxing comforting energy understanding safety feelings of safety the curiosity of being a young cockatoo again and that life is a is a mystery a joyful mystery not a scary one so just doing this right now and it's creating some emotional responses and responses in the mind as well. This emotional gut and then the mind. Just letting them be as they are. And I ask uh, Lala's subconscious or deeper essence, I say, what's the next thing I can do to help you feel better? And Lala tells me, it, it's, it, he shows me just simply just a quiet, silent experience and peaceful um, experience that is consistent. Nothing is changing here. It's peaceful, it's quiet, it's consistent. And this allows me actually to send anything outside of what is this peaceful consistency. I'm actually able to send a lot of uh, energy downward, like down into the earth. So that way it just releases. If I can mimic this feeling of peacefulness and consistency, even in an inconsistent moment, if I could mimic this um, in the way that Lala is processing information, um, we could create a steady um, rhythm, emotional or response rhythm. So I'm going to try and overlap here what is a very safe and consistent environment with an unexpected um, environment. So obviously this weird face that makes it sounds like noisy as well. So I'm going to allow Lala to look at this strange face again. But then we're going to overlap it with this feeling that it is safe. This is safe. And I'm taking this pipe or this tunnel is falling. And I'm, I'm overlapping it with life is a safe experience. Life is a safe experience. Life is a joyful mystery. You are safe.
I will say again that there is con- another step of improvement when it comes to feeling uh, participating in the body. I don't feel there's a buffer of separation here between soul and body. I feel emerging. Okay, this is a new thing and I haven't figured out what it means just yet. I keep looking at Lala's feet. I just keep looking at Lala's feet. And I have no idea why this image is creating an emotional response, but it is. So we're just going to go with it, okay? <laughs> so this image is something that Lala's subconscious it's symbolic or metaphorical. Lala's subconscious gets it. Because when Lala's subconscious or deeper self looks at these feet, it starts to feel emotional. It starts to cry. And I start to see the feet get... Um, I mean, they're turning black like a really... I mean, I, something really rotten is happening. Like the feet are rotting from the inside. I mean, it's, it's starting to look very uh, unexpectedly gruesome. Almost like the feet are going to be cut off from the body. He's creating like uh, um, these echoes of fear. And we're just looking at feet. That's it. Of a, of a cockatoo. This is going to take some time because even as I continue to, continue to send vibes that, to just relax this energy down, it's like still um, not relaxing. It's still reacting. And it feels like it hurts. I mean, it feels like energy is going up the legs as I see the legs kind of like turning black and feeling um, like they could even break into two pieces, just one foot. Like it just looks like it could snap and break, but it also makes me think of things rotting from the inside. So there's a lot of like disturbing feelings just with this image. We don't know why it's using this image, but um, now it's like there's something here like this is rising up the legs. And this is also creating weird, um, it feel, it's, it's like blubbery energy. It's sort of blubbering around the, the head and the shoulders and back and around the heart. It just, energy blubber. And it kind of moves like bulbousy, like blubbery movement. Still just sending continual vibes of love and relaxation and continuing to share love with Lala's heart. And the legs are starting to feel an improvement, but not there yet. They're actually starting right now to feel like they're being burned. But I will say it's still an improvement. <laughs> and I transform Lala into a little baby and I hold Lala. I tell Lala that everything's going to be okay and I just touch Lala's face and everything is going to be okay. And nobody is going to hurt you. And life is a wonderful, safe experience. I just keep saying this, nurturing. The legs are still kind of feeling hurt, like there's pain in them, but it's not as traumatizing. 
not as suddenly shocking. And now when I was saying that the energy was going up the legs, it's actually now going down the legs. It's kind of going into the earth kind of thing. And it's all just really just starting to go down. And out the bottom of the feet. This is really, there's some really um, unexplainable responses going on here. So does Lala's legs and feet actually hurt really, really bad? I don't know for sure. But I do know that we need this image and these feelings to be vented out in this particular place in order for the energy to shift that is going to help Lala feel better. And we need to continue to work with overlaying it is a safe experience with uh, ex what feels like um, an unsafe experience, right? So we are going to continue to intermix it is safe to make it is safe so much louder and more consistent and more real and more a part of Lala's reality than anything else. Now, this is the next thing that I, I'm i exploring, and it, it's a, a sexual body thing. So, as I'm healing Lala, I work through what I do when I work with humans, and it they parallel extremely well. So, I don't know why Lala's got an energy block here, but he does, okay? So, let me, let me take a look here. And these can be memories from other times and places. We just don't know. Let's see. Huh. So there's also messages in here that um, we can enhance the pleasure of life here. In the sexual body, we can bring in more of the, um, the pleasures of life. That life can be beautiful and wonderful and uh, joyful experience. Um, so that's why they're showing me this because um, sexual body isn't just about intimacy. It's about the pleasure of life and living, um, the joy and spirit of living, the, the way you feel about um, yourself in this world too, the way you value yourself as well. But uh, this is primarily with Lala about uh, really enhancing the pleasure of living in life. And when we amplify that, then any concerns will be um, diminished because, again, we're creating more of an embrace of um, the joyful mystery of living instead of the resistance. And there's a, there's kind of like crud is what it feels like on my hands. Like, oh, there's some crud in here. I, <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it. <laughs> I don't know. It's just dirt, I guess. <laughs> kind of like built up dirt. That, I mean, I would need like a good rag and some 409 or something to clean that off of there. <laughs> so I'm just kind of giving, I'm just sharing the love in here. And it's interesting because as I do that in the sexual body, I'm also encouraged to share love with the mind too. Share love in both places. And now I've just grown a third arm and I'm sharing love with the heart as well. So sexual body, heart, and mind right now. This is, this is actually releasing a really uh, kind of a... Um, it's not chaotic, but it's a, a frequency that is just would be a kind of make you feel a little jolted. It's wobbly, it's wiggly, it's kind of shaky. And it's coming out the entire front side of Lala. It's just pushing right out of there.
again, we're coming to yet another, um, I mean, step forward when I, with feeling the spirit and the body is merging together more noticeably. The buffer is almost completely diminished. There's a new thing here. I mean, there's a mental body and what would be like emotional gut um, connection going on here. Some sort of new imbalance. So we're going to look at this next thing. Uh, and as I just can, as I just simply look at this, I mean, Lala's subconscious is, is with me this whole time, is having self-realizations, is venting things, showing me things. And suddenly, as I just look at mental body and, um, and emotional gut, the throat just starts to suddenly make a lot of noise, a lot of communication. And this, I mean, this there's mind, stomach, and heart here is what's going on. Hmm, and throat, I mean, it's just, they're not working together yet. I haven't figured out how to get them to work together just yet. And I'm just about, I mean, this is like a total shocker body transformation for Lala. <laughs> Who'd have thought? But uh, this is going to help, okay? Big time. So, uh, so I'm talking about like, we're literally looking at mental body, emotional gut. Now, yep, the heart's now getting involved in here, throat for sure. Now sexual body, it's like we're going to get root and crown in here. So we're just going to just do all the chakra bodies. We're going to really um, encourage them to start working together instead of uh, separately or in weird uh, relationships like mind and throat or mind and stomach. Like we need everybody to work, be working together at the same time. And one way that you can do this, like human or animal or <laughs> you know, human to help animal, um, you can literally just use intention, okay? So here, and this is what I'm doing, I'm, um, and I can feel this as well. So I'm taking a part of Lala's mental body, third eye and crown, and I'm just going to place it into Lala's heart. So we're going to integrate all these energy bodies into a supportive space within the heart where they can all start learning how to work together again. This is creating an interesting, I mean, there's still energy processing, so I'm not going to move the throat just yet. All right, so I'm going to place throat now within the heart. That actually brings it a lot of peacefulness. Then I'm going to bring emotional guide and place it into the heart here. And I play, play sexual body in the heart. And the root. I mean, there's a lot of relaxation happening. A lot of relaxation. Becoming very relaxed and peaceful in here. And I tell the spirit of Lala, I say, it's safe to be in this experience. And uh, I'm receiving kind of echoes of being a baby um, bird and um, the mysteries of life and um, life being a curious new experience and how joyful it can feel. So I'm, I'm taking these joyful curiosities and I'm really amplifying that feeling and energy and I'm placing it into Lala's mind and heart and sexual body. And I'm placing it beneath Lala's feet and above Lala's head. Uh, 
And I'm just going to do this one more time. So I'm just taking yet another layer of, of the mental body and placing it into the heart. Another layer of the throat here and placing it in the heart. Another layer of emotional gut placing it in the heart. Another layer of sexual body and root and placing it in the heart. Okay, huge energy shift. Hmm. I'm going to do just one more thing here. I'm just going to take that root energy and I'm going to get it connected. This is just a, yet another layer, okay? So I'm just going to take the root and really get it connected to the earth star chakra because animals have the same energy bodies too. So just put it in there. And then I put the crown, a part of the crown, into the soul star chakra just to get Lala really balanced and aligned energetically. So that's all I can share for this session. So it's still a bit of a mystery as to why. Lala has been fearful of new things, but this energy work is exactly what I was called to do to bring balance so that we can kind of um, you know, rehabilitate the joy and the safety feelings and get all of this realigned and bring the soul really back into the body and to remind it again that it is a safe, um, joyful mystery that life is and that you are safe, you are safe, you are safe. And I can already feel a huge improvement in the balance. So be curious to know how Lala is doing as the days pass. His energy work is a process, so it ha has to be digested just like food. Um, so every day you, sh you should notice some changes, okay? <sighs> hmm. Cool. Thank you so much for this experience and for sharing it too on YouTube. And for those of you watching, if any of you are interested in exploring a psychic session with me, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all have a great day.